was able to get my hands on some of the new spring patterns for McCall's 2021 and I just could not wait to delve into McCall's 8146. So I decided to just spend a little time reading over the pattern directions and I want to make view C I am going to use a rayon fabric that I purchased from Joann's. This pattern is rated average. It does call for a button and a ribbon. There are also fabric ties in the front. There is a peplum and there are gathers in the sleeve, pleats in the front darts in the back so this should be a fun little project so I am going to just go ahead lay out my pattern pieces and get started The sleeve is folded in half and sewn across the top. It is then gathered. Then there is a sleeve head piece that is also gathered and it is placed into the armhole. I have put the peplum on the top and I added the button to the front left side. On the inside, they called for a ribbon to go on the right side of the garment on the inside. I just used some scraps. I didn't have one inch ribbon, so I just used some scraps and then I attached it to the side like they indicate in the pattern directions. There are two buttonholes here. So I would assume that you fold this over and button it. And I guess you can choose whichever button you want to choose to close it up. And this goes on the inside. So you're not going to see the button or the ribbon, what should be a ribbon. You wouldn't be able to see it when it's closed. However, I put the garment on and I realized that there was no way that I could tie this shut. Because if you button this here, I'll just put it on the first button. If you button it up, it kind of gives you a little slack so it does hang down slightly. But this, this strap is then gonna be on the inside. And then when you try to, you know, wrap it over to the other side, then you have nothing to tie it to because all of the special ties and everything are on the inside of the garment. So I have no idea how this is supposed to be worn. I have played with this over and over. <laughs> I had my husband come and look at this. I was like, is it just me? And then I thought, you know, I said, well, maybe you tie this ribbon, what should be a ribbon, maybe you tie these two together. And that works to keep this closed. However, there's still nothing to attach this part to. And then I even tried 
you know, taking the tie and flipping it back out to the outside. And then I was like, okay, well then maybe I could tie it like that. That wouldn't work either because this front piece still flaps open. So, I am not sure how this is supposed to, to go at all. I went back through the directions to make sure I didn't do anything wrong. You know, I was wondering, you know, maybe I was only supposed to add one tie, but no, it calls for two. So I think I'm just going to have to put a snap somewhere on the front and just try to make this work because I cannot get this to close no matter how I try. So I will just try to make the best of this. In order to make the front work, what I decided to do was to button the front closed. I just picked the front button, the first button, and I closed it that way. And then I let this hang down and I added a snap. So I snapped the front closed. Then I grabbed the strap that was hanging or the tie that was hanging from below and brought it over to meet the other strap or the other tie. And then I just tied it up that way. So that is how I decided to wear it to kind of make this work. These are the sleeves. They have a little point on the end of them. And what I found when wearing the garment is you can push the little point in. Let me reach in and grab it. You can push it in a little bit. And that will kind of give the sleeve a different look. So I guess you can wear it out and wear it pointy if you want to. I, I suppose that's a look. Or you can like push the sleeve in and it kind of gives it like this little, kind of like a little balloon effect. Yeah, so I think that's cute. All right, so it's time for a love share. Sometimes blind or low vision individuals may need help. As an example, say someone has two prescriptions or something that they need to read and they can't make it out or they need assistance. Well, I recently learned of an app where the person who needs assistance can pick up their phone and they will be connected with a sighted volunteer who will provide visual assistance through a live video and it's all done through an app called be my eyes if any of the videos on this channel have encouraged you to do something to make something or maybe even go somewhere new please send me a voice recording about it a short video or even a picture or two your submission may be selected and shared in a subsequent video because not only are you appreciated, but what has encouraged you may also help someone else grow.